hi guys welcome back to my channel guys today i am taking part in the collaboration hosted by indy annie jones i will link her channel in my description box below guys this is the christmas palosa 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 i can pronounce it right but anyways is uh you could do a thrift flip a shopping haul um anything goes um, so what I'm going to do, oh, and recipes as well. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to share with you two recipes. The first one is going to be a simple apple pie recipe. Right now, I'm making the dough, which the dough consists of two cups of all-purpose flour. Um, uh, I got my receipt. Uh, two-thirds of ch shortening, but I'm not using shortening. I like to use butter because I like my dough, my crust to taste like butter. And a uh, third of a quarter teaspoon of salt or a pinch of salt. So guys, I'm going to leave this recipe in the description box below so you guys can utilize them for yourself. And I'm going to be making a nine inch apple pie. And also my second recipe is going to be, um, we call them polvorones. Uh, you will make them in different style. You could call them butter cookies. So I'm going to be making those guys. When it comes to these cookies, you gotta be very careful because they are very addicting. So, I don't make them all the time. I usually make them for the holidays or when I'm going to have a tea party, which they are perfect. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to knead my dough. You're just going to mix it together. I'm going to um, do the dough and make sure that you don't knead it. Uh, mix it, the dough a lot, rub the dough a lot because then your dough will be tough. And also... Uh, once you make your dough, you're going to divide it in half and you're going to wrap it in saran wrap and let it rest for at least 30 minutes in your refrigerator. So it will be easier for you to spread it out with your rolling pin. So I'm going to do that. I already have my ingredients here. Okay. So let me do that and I'll be right back. I also forgot to mention, you're going to need seven and a half ice water and when i mean ice water i have ice in the water because they have to be really cold this is going to help with your um, dough and you're going to add it little by little and then you will continue your kneading of the dough this is going to help you for the dough to be nice and manageable for your crust when you add the water all at once it does, the water does not um, get distributed equally. So I'm going to keep doing this and I'm using a, you could use your hand if you like, which I am going to be using my hands, but I'm using one of these um, dough gadgets. I don't know what you guys call them. I'm using one of these dough gadgets here. So I'm going to need my dough and I'm going to show you what my what the dough is supposed to look like for your um, crust. And also, if you like your crust to taste like vanilla, you could add a little bit, a teaspoon of vanilla. That's what I did. So that's all you need for the dough. The two cups and one tablespoon of all-purpose flour a uh, third of a cup of salt, which I got it at the salt, and a uh, two-third cup of shortening, or I'm using, um, I'm using uh, about this much butter. I'm using about this much butter, okay? I'm leaving an inch for later, so for something else that I'm going to use it. So I'm going to knead the dough, and I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, my dose is done. As you guys can see, it's very hard. So put a little bit of flour on your counter and place your dough. 
and you're just going to work it a little bit. What you're going to do is you're going to press it down, fold it to herself. You gotta fold it. I mean, if you make it more than one pie, so you're going to um, double the ingredients, okay? Just fold it a couple of times to herself, and it's gonna be a hard dough. Just work it a little bit, not too much. You know, we're not making bread, we're making a pie crust. That's it, guys. See, that's that's it. That's 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 the amount that you gotta work it. That's it. Line it down, try to divide it in equal, in the equal, um, equal parts. Then get your knife or your dough cutter. And then you're going to cut it in half, like so. If you see the one half is bigger than the other one, use the bigger half for the top, depending how you're going to do your crust, and use the thinner half for the bottom. So I'm going to um, wrap this one in surround wrap, and I'm going to let them, let them rest in the refrigerator for 30 to 35 minutes. That's it. That's, the dough is done. So that's the easy part. All right. I mean, the recipe is easy. I'm going to be using gala apples. They're pretty big size. I'm making a nine inch apple pie. So you want, I want my apple pie to be nice and full. First, we're going to uh, peel and cut the apples. When you're cutting your apples, since um, it takes time to peel them, just have a bowl with cold water. And then as you peel them and you cut it, you put them in the water. That's, that prevents for them not to turn brown. All right, guys, I got my apples on the pot. I put, I melted one stick of butter. And to that, I added a quarter of a cup white sugar, quarter of a cup of brown sugar packed, a pinch of nutmeg, which this is a pinch of nutmeg right here, like I showed you guys, an eighth, uh, eighth of a spoon. Um, also, I added a one one of a fourth of vanilla extra, but I actually added a tablespoon, so a teaspoon. Sorry, I added two teaspoons of cinnamon, and I used five large gala apples i mean oh my god what did i say um yeah gala apples but i i use the green ones i'm sorry you could use and, and the apple you could use your choice so i'm going to cook this down and i'm going to cook this down a little bit and i cut my slices yay thick you don't want it to be too thin because they got to bake and you don't want to have a smush apple pie. So I'm going to cook this down. And once this cooks down a little bit, what's going to help you thicken your pie? I don't know if you guys know. A lot of you guys know that I managed a kitchen for 21 plus years. That was my profession. And I'm retired from that now. But I got a lot of recipes. So... When this is cooked down, you're going to put one teaspoon of cornstarch. Your choice. I mean, you could use uh, regular flour, but I think the regular flour is kind of thick. So, and the cornstarch, is it has no flavor, even though flour has no flavor. But I use the cornstarch. That's what the recipe calls. That's how I've done it for 20 plus years. And guys, this is my own recipe. I'm sharing it with you. I was going to make, which nobody does. I have never seen one made. Uh, I was going to share with you my grandma's and my mom's papaya pie recipe. But I went to check the papayas today. And guys, the prices was ridiculous. $2.99 a pound for papaya. And they were not even big. And I was going to have to buy at least three of them. So I'm going to cook this down, um, stirring it, and then when it's cooked down, I'm going to show you what it looks like, and that's when I'm going to add my, 
add my cornstarch. Meanwhile, I'm going to start stretching my dough for the pies. I don't know guys, I'm having problem with my phone. All right guys, when you guys got this consistency, the, so, the, the majority of you um, apples are soft, you're going to take cornstarch. One teaspoon of cornstarch, you're gonna spread it on the top. And that's it, that's what you need. So what that's gonna do is, it's gonna make your um, filling get thicker and you will not have a runny apple pie. You will you'll be able to cut it and you won't have an apple pie that's runny on the inside because the cornstarch is gonna help it get thick, okay? I wish you guys I wish you guys can smell this it smells so good oh my goodness see it's already getting really thick so see the the liquid is getting thick so I'm going to leave it here for another five minutes on low fire I'm gonna leave it covered and that's gonna thicken up. Meanwhile, preheat your oven at 375 degrees. Okay? At 375 degrees. Yep. And I'll see you with the next recipe. And of course, how the apple pie looks before it goes into the oven. All right, guys. This is what your apple pie filling looks. See, it's still hot. You have to um, take it out of the pot, put it in a bowl, and let it cool down. You don't want to put it straight from the pot to your pie for the simple fact that the dough is going to get really saggy. So you want to uh, let it cool down at least uh, to room temperature or maybe if it's warm, but this is boiling hot. So you don't want to go straight from the pot to the pie, okay? So... I'm over here now. I'm about to stretch my dough. Okay, and then I'm gonna come back at you with I'm gonna show you how thick or how thin this is how how thick or how thin you're going to need your dough for the bottom layer. All right, guys, you guys see my, my uh, pie dough is thin. It's not too thick or not too, too thin. I'm using, like I say, a nine inch pie. So put the, the dough over your rolling pin. You're going to go over your dish and place the dough. And carefully, you're just gonna put it inside and go around the edges. Guys, do not cut your edge until you actually done putting your tie cross. See, just in case you have to move it, I have to move it a little bit. So that's how, because you're going to need some of the edge to make sure that your pie is sealed, okay? So, Bring it inside, stretch it on the bottom there. Meanwhile, like I said, remember guys, your pie filling needs to cool down. So, all right, so now that this is done, I'm going to put this to the side and I'm going to do my top layer. With my top layer, I'm going to make it um, not a flat layer. I'm going to make it in strips. I'm going to braid it. Um, once I fill the pie and I will show you that. All right, guys, I'm kneading the dough. Um, kneading, you know, like when you go in between. So now I'm doing my last um, strip. So I don't know if you guys can see me. Let me 
Let me move the pie over here. I'm doing my last strip, so place it at the end here. And you lift, you put it on the top, one goes through the top, you lift the other one, you lift the other one, you place the other one on the top until you get to your last one. Yeah, guys, so um, I couldn't do it uh, more closer, but my husband doesn't want, like a lot of dough on the top because he likes to put a scoop of um, vanilla ice cream. So now I'm going to clean the edges. I'm going to um, do the edges, and I'll show you that. All right, guys, for your cookie doughs, you're going to need two cups of cornstarch, which in Spanish we call it maicena. You're going to need half a cup of butter, salted or unsalted. If you use unsalted, of course, add a pinch of salt. Okay, you're going to need a half a cup of butter. I think I, I, think I mentioned that already. One teaspoon of vanilla, one egg at room temperature, and make sure that your butter is also at room temperature. Half a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, uh, a pinch of salt, like I say, if the butter is unsalted. Uh, make your dough. So what you do is uh, mix your dry ingredients. Well, we still have oil dry ingredients. And then you're going to add the butter. You're going to mix it. The dough is going to be a dough that is stiff. It's not soft dough. You see how it has the color of the butter? Guys, don't worry, my hands are washed, okay? And then you're going to make your little dough balls, you know, cookie doughs like this, big, or you could make them smaller because they are going to rise. So you may want to make them smaller. I will be making some like this and, and some larger ones. Then you're going to place your dough and the cookie sheet you're going to take a fork okay and you're going to press them down okay and your cookie should look like that and also you could make a little bowl i'm gonna show you which this is uh another thing that we do because they are Christmas cookies. You're making Christmas cookies. So, like I said, you don't want it to be too big or too small. So, you're going to make your little dough bowl. And then you're going to... So, I don't have any Christmas sprinkles, but I have regular sprinkles. You're going to place your little um, cookie and your sprinkles. And then you're going to place on your baking sheet. And also, if you like the flavor of, um, which I am going to do with this dough, um, anise, anise. So what you do is, after you make this certain amount of um, cookies with the vanilla flavor, you add a little, a little bit, because that flavor goes a long way. You add a little bit of anise. i show you... Um, which one do I use? Okay, here we go. And if you want to make it fun for the kids, you could add, divide your dough and add food coloring. I don't like adding too much food coloring to food, at least I have to. But I use the regular store brand flavor and I make some of the cookies with that flavor. And then when those are made, what I do with those is, I put them in powdered sugar, which I'm going to be showing you that, guys. Um, the pie is in the oven. Uh, make sure that when you uh, place the pie in the oven, before you place it in the oven, you do the egg wash on the top, so it will have that nice golden brown. Um, also, uh, for the apple pie, you could just do all the process that I did, except baking it, and if you have a big enough freezer, you could freeze it and take it out the day before Thanksgiving and bake it for your Thanksgiving meal. 
Guys, when I do my holiday cooking, everything that I make, I do it from scratch. I do not do anything from the box. The only thing that I could do from a box, and it will be in a spur of the moment, is a bag of a uh, bag of stuffing if the kids want some. Other than that, what I do is I take my bread, I put it in the oven, I tr I um I make it um, hard, and I do my own stuffing as well. All right, guys. So let me finish the cookies, and I'm gonna come back at you. I don't want this video to be too long. Well, guys, my first batch of cookie is done. Now it's time to take the apple pie of the oven. Guys, you're going to bake your apple pie for 45 minutes at 375 degrees and your cookies at 325 degrees. So there is my apple pie. I will bring it close so you guys can see it. It's still bubbling. Okay. Oh, that's hot. And guys, here we have the cookies. The cookies are going to be light color unless you add full coloring. Guys, I don't know. When you go to the grocery store, they have some cookies. They are standing diagonal and they have like a frosting on the top. These are those types of cookies, guys. They are so soft. They melt in your mouth. Mmm. They like air. They are so good. My family love them. Mm. And there you have it, guys. Annie, thank you for doing this collaboration. It was a pleasure to participate, guys. In the Annie Jones, she does a lot of crafting. She does recipe once in a while. But I'm going to be leaving her link in my description box below so you guys can go and check her out. Guys, I'm going to leave it like I always say. Be kind to one another. Don't forget to smile. Overall, stay safe, stay healthy. And remember, guys, God loves you. And Debbie also loves you, too. And we'll be into the next one. Bye-bye, guys.